Hello and welcome back to Transport Fever 2. My last game, if you watched the first episode, kind of got off to a, a rocky start and I was excited to see if I could turn it around and, and salvage the, the game. But somehow my save file didn't get saved and so I've lost the world. So this gives me a chance to start over, but first I want to do a, a little bit of testing. Uh, there are three things that I want to test. First, I want to see if if I deliver goods to um, kind of a middle industry. For example, if I deliver logs to a sawmill, but then don't take the planks anywhere, um, how long will it let me deliver uh, that wood to the sawmill? Um, that's the first. Also, if it lets me deliver that wood to the to the sawmill, you know, for indefinitely, um, what if the industry has two needs and I'm only delivering one? So it has no production. Uh, will it store up and it will allow me to keep delivering, or will it get come? Will there come a point where it has too much and it will just stop accepting any of the same goods that I've been delivering? And then. Finally, I wanted to test the trains to see if the game simulates um, the weight of the the full wagons. If going uphill, it will uh, slow down a lot more if it has a full wagon rather than if the wagons are empty. So we're going to see if we can get a little bit of more understanding about that and um, let's jump right in. So right now I'm going to start a medium game with a lot of hills so that we can, we can get a, um, the test of the hills. And then the industries uh, on high so that we have a lot more opportunities. And 1850, that's fine. Actually, let me do 1870 so I have more choices of engines. Difficulty is going to be medium. And we'll start. All right, so here we have our map. Um, let's see if we can find something that will allow us to deliver uphill. Okay, I think I found one here. So we have logs here going uphill, delivering to the sawmill. Um, really steep grade. So this should be perfect for our purposes here. Okay, here's go with test number one. Sixteen. Auto save. Fourteen now. Thirteen. It's really chugging. Ten miles an hour. And this is with empty, so we'll see how slow it goes with when it's full. See if it does the same you know, nine miles an hour. So 
starting out at 8, 9, 10, I think it got up to like 16 or something up here. Already it looks like it's going slower. Uh, 10, 9, 8, yep. Okay, well I think that's definitive. That if it's full, um, it does go slower. So it does simulate, it's even going 5, is it even going to make it? 5 miles an hour. Well, we'll leave this running for now and uh, we will try to find somewhere else where we can do another test. Here we go. Let's try to deliver food to this farm, uh, sorry, from farm to this, this food factory. Um, and we're just going to deliver as much as we can and see if it will ever refuse to take any more food. Okay, I'll, I'll leave this running. Now I need to set up a, another another test where we're delivering one of two required types of... Um, so for this I probably want a steel mill if I can. takes three years to deliver because <laughs> it's going so slow up the hill. That's hilarious. Before I add some more, let me look at this. Oh, no, this right here. So, it looks like it has, it's storing, storing the coal, but not consuming any right now. So how big can this get before they say no more? So if we look at the food processing plant, it's actually consuming. So the stored number is going down. Will this ever, will they ever say, okay, we've made enough food and we're not gonna, um, we're not gonna need any more. So what I think is gonna happen is, and, and in my mind, it's simulating like a real world situation where, okay, we're delivering it, but, but they're getting their goods to their customers in a different way, right? So. So they might not, you know, they're not going to ever go up levels. They're not going to increase process or increase their, their production. But they might continue on with this level of production indefinitely. Okay, let's check. So it's already got 400 there and it's still, it's still allowing us to deliver. That's interesting. I really thought that it would have stopped 
by now. Let me see over here. I'm gonna run a road next to here. Just to kind of see if a road will... Uh, if road vehicles will be faster than this train or not. I'm just curious. Okay. <laughs> yep, <laughs> the wagon's faster. Bye bye. A lot faster. It's going seven versus the train going five. But the you know the train carries a lot more. And here comes our road vehicle. Ready to drop off. And ka 20,000. Oh, that's not bad. And here comes the train. Pulling up a distant last place. Okay, we're back here looking at the train. I'm going to add a few more cars to this and see how slow it gets. There you go. Eight miles an hour, nine. <laughs> yeah. Okay, five, four. It used to, I think the limit was five before, if I remember right. I'll have to go back and look. down to three. Is he gonna make it to two? Oh, two miles an hour. Okay. So it cut it in half. You had to five more cars and it cut, it cut the speed in half, which is gonna double the amount of time it takes to get there. Well, I'm not gonna make you sit here and watch this thing crawl up the hill. Uh, so I'm gonna speed it up and we'll see what it does at the top, see how much it makes.
Okay, there we have it. I don't think this is going to be profitable in the current form. So, let's go look one more time back at the other stations to see how we're doing, making sure that it hasn't refused delivery. So we have our... Yeah, looks like we're still, uh, still making money here. And over here... Yeah, still going strong. So much we have over 3,000. Okay, well, I think it's safe to say you can make money delivering just one product to <laughs> to a, an industry, at least on medium load. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try um, really quick just going into a hard mode, seeing if that's the same case. All right, so here we have a hard game. Uh, actually, it's very hard. Um, uh, all the other settings are the same as the last one. So I've set up a line, well I haven't set up the actual line, but I've set up all the buildings to get to run a line between uh, this coal mine and this steel mill. And then also between this um, forest and the sawmill over here. So do that second test just to make sure that you can still deliver goods um, to a factory that isn't delivering its goods anywhere else in hard mode or very hard mode i figured if we if we do it in very hard mode it'll be the same for hard mode if if it's um if it's possible to deliver it so here we go Okay, I think that's sufficient time. So it looks like even in very hard mode, you can deliver goods um, to a factory, and they will continue to accept it, even if you're not, if, even if you're not shipping um, um, their product out. Good to know, because that's one of the things that I didn't think you could do, but now I know you can, so that'll help out when I'm uh, when I'm trying to find routes, because uh, this. This could be a, a good way to have your vehicles um, deliver something both ways, right? So you deliver one way, but this opens up more opportunities to have delivery on the way back, um, even if you're not, you know, fulfilling the full chain. Okay, well, thanks for tuning in, and if you stayed to the end, thank you. And uh, please leave a comment if you have any suggestions for... Um, anything else you want to test or, or any other ideas you have um, and yep have a good day and and we'll see you next time bye